Hi everyone, my name is Marco Iafrade, creative director for TG. The first look at these, I wanted to create something which uh, had a little bit more discipline. So that's why I choose to have a very high ponytail, everything up into the ponytail having it really clean. It takes the time, the right products, that's why we today for the session series. And this particular look, we use the Work It Air Spray. The Work It Air Spray it's something you can control the effect. You can spray a little bit at a time. You build up your product into it. Don't rush to put the hair into the ponytail. Just take your time, build up the product into the hair. You will find that the hair is a lot more controllable. But once you think that you have the right amount, then just lock it in with an elastic. For this particular look, I use the bungees. We try to create this look very, very high, so it gives me the enough length so I can roll into the hair towards the front. The hair is very, very clean, it's very polished. So once we finish the ponytail, I section the ponytail a little bit at a time by using the straining irons just to flat that cuticle. Once the cuticle is flat, everything is much shinier, and then we, we just use a, a little bit of what we call a donut. For this particular look, I'm looking for something which is controlled. It's shiny, but at the same time not greasy sprayed onto with the work it it's uh, one of my favorite because as a hairspray it's not so wet it's very dry when you're working on backstage especially when you need to create different looks on the same models you will need a product that can be workable an important thing was to be able to take uh, from the first look we, we wanted to create something which had that structure feel but at the same time you had that angelic look so what we did, we used, yes, the work it, but we always controlled the amount. Same, it's a very similar approach, but a completely different result. The hair was actually sprayed all down, center parting. Using the same product, you can achieve a completely different thing. I started taking horizontal sections and working my way down. And I, what I did, I used the brush to flat down into the head. So I sprayed the work it much closer into the roots, just to get a slightly wet feeling. We work all the way up until we reach the hairline. We're using the hairspray to set it. And what we did, we left the two little panels for the sides. We used the black and white picture. But when you spray the white hairspray into this little flying away, it just makes that contrast even stronger. But because of these two panels flying away, different colors, it just makes it look like everything is flowed together. 